What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. Last time, we explored quite a bit on over to the west, managed to find quite a few Pokemon, got our butts kicked by a trainer by the Pokemon Center, and found Pokemon that were maybe a little bit too high level for us. But not before catching one of them and adding to Team 1, Arthur the Knackley. In this episode, we are back on over to the west because that was getting to be a little bit too high level and if I really wanted to be in that area or further, uh, then we're definitely going to be too high level for what the first gym's going to be. So instead, we are going to head on over towards the direction of the first gym. Um, yeah, because right now it says, uh, South Province Area 2. I'm hoping that we'll be able to find some other area. What is... There's something there underneath the Azural, and I can't see what it is. I don't know. Uh, but we'll at the very least kind of explore around a little bit and hopefully we'll be able to find some, a new area so we can add to team two. Uh, in the meantime though, we can just use the opportunity to try to get a little bit more experience. Uh, go for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we have a trainer there. Hop it with some fletchlings. Um, we can take on the trainer. Oh, there's a Smoliv up there. Oh, trainer first, and then Smoliv. Because apparently there just always seems to be... Uh, a guy that will give us stuff if we defeat a certain amount of trainers. Okay, a Scatterbug. What level is a Scatterbug? Level 8. Okay. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. At least I hope not. I mean, she does also have two po Pokemon, so she has one more kind of in reserve. But unlike that other trainer, I think this one, we should be fine. We should be fine just taking her out. Yeah, looks like there's some more young goose just kind of wandering around. Okay, so down goes the scatterbug. Alright, and Drifloon. Okay, interesting. Level 8. Um, go ahead and use Stun Spore. Oh, come on. Try it again. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this isn't working. Um, let's switch on over to Pikachu, because it is a flying ghost type. As long as it doesn't get a ton of crits. Okay, it doesn't do a whole lot. Terrestrializing isn't going to help me, because Pikachu's Terrestrialize is a flying type. Uh, so not the most effective. Okay, but there we go. Definitely gonna need to battle quite a bit to get this team up. Okay. And there's a Smoliv over here. Petra Berry. There's also Mareep, and I don't believe we fought a Mareep. Uh, but let's go ahead. 
and go after the Smolif. You can catch it unaware, unfortunately. Um, let's use Fairy Wind. Okay, thankfully Hobbit is part grass type, so not the worst thing in the world. Uh, doesn't seem like it's... I'm really getting a whole lot, though. Especially since I'm not getting same type attack bonus. So, it's just not really dealing all that much damage. Okay, evasiveness, that's fine. Small doesn't seem to be using anything that has low accuracy anyway. So, not really that big of a deal. And to make sure that I don't accidentally, you know, just leave it at 1 HP, we'll just do that. All right, some small of oil, and then there's the Mareep. Uh, let's go ahead, put Maya as the main Pokemon. I love this slide. Okay, no, the Mareep totally just sees me now. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so Mareep, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, we will just hit it with a tackle. Uh oh. Oh, come on! Great. This is bad. Uh, I am definitely gonna need to go to maybe get a picnic going. Oh, wow, that did a lot. Okay, cool. So Maya's still doing pretty good. All right, and I very much need to heal. Barely done anything, and I'm already kind of hurting. Uh, although... In terms of recovery items, I've got plenty of potions. I've at least got some paralyzed heals. Uh, so we'll go ahead, heal up Ridley, and heal up Pikachu. Maya should still be fine for the time being. Um, I'm definitely going to need to just fight some trainers and maybe some wild Pokemon as well. Uh, but in the meantime, is that sun? yeah, no, that is a Sunkern. Okay, Sunkern, a Mareep, Hopip, more Mareep. Looks to just be a regular item over there. Um, let's go ahead and pull out Coridon. Just a berry. Three Pokeballs. Gonna keep my eye out, not only uh, just for uh, just items, but mostly for TMs. Uh, there's a trainer over there. Ether, uh, Sunkern, and some small lives. Orenberry. Have you seen the ten sites of Paldea? Okay, well, he wants the battle. Let's send Pikachu up front and hope we don't get our butts kicked. Want well, to know the way to one of the ten sites of Paldea? Okay, he sends out a Whooper. Um. Yeah, it's ground poison. Um. But it's his only Pokemon. <laughs> you know, I was kind of expecting like a unique animation for Pikachu like getting the balloons. I guess that's just its terrestrialized form. Uh-oh. Okay, I just lowered his speed. Still faster. 
As cute as Wooper is, it is not exactly the fastest Pokemon. I do love Pikachu's just flips. All right. Down goes another trainer. So what are these sites of Paldea? The Grand Olive Orchard, one of the ten sites of Paldea, is a little past that Pokemon Center. Just follow the path. Huh, all right. Um... Looks like there's, um... Uh, those are possibly just, um... Uh, dens. Uh, let's see... There's a few that are out that way. Uh, in the meantime, though... Oh! Fuck it all. Uh, is there a guy here? No, but it looks like the town's right over that way. Alright, cool. Um... I don't actually think we really need to... Hello! A gimme ghoul! Okay, uh, we can kind of... Darn cat. Uh, we can kind of explore around a little bit. I do... Uh... I should be trying to get into some more battles more than just ooh, super potion. Uh, hello. Okay, well that's quite a bit. It's also pretty close to where town is. There's another one over there. Um, kind of look over this way. Where exactly? South Province Area Four. I mean, possibly that could lead to a new area. Super Potion, what is that? That's a new Pokemon! What is that? A Mash Chip! Huh! I'm sorry, what did it use? I wasn't paying attention, my cat's a straight- Oh, it used Home Claws, okay. Um, in which case... Nope, we, we don't need terrestrialize. We don't need to terrestrialize. Thankfully, Pikachu is an electric type and is immune to paralysis. Though Home Claws is definitely making that a little bit more iffy. Still, it doesn't hurt to add more Pokemon to the Pokedex. And hey, we can reach that area four. That's a new area, so I say we head over in that direction. Uh, possibly get a little bit more experience. Is that a green glow over there? Yeah? I'm not entirely sure what that means though. Perhaps it's indicating on typing or distance? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Well, whatever. Took down the Hoppet. Okay. Um. So yeah, if we keep heading in this direction, that should, yeah, lead us to area four. So once we actually enter area four, max ether already? Lepberry. Some experience candy. I'm a little bit concerned over just what exactly we'll find. Also, it's a little steep to try to get down from here. Um, is there a way that we can get down from maybe over this way? Two Pokeballs. No, it doesn't look like it. I see an Overhang. I see a Hapini. You know, Hapini gave me quite a bit of experience. What is it, level 8? It's only level 8, and then let's switch Maya out front. I think Hapini will give a good amount of experience. Oh, wow, that really did a lot. <laughs> Well, that was easy. 
Uh, I mean, it's a pretty good amount of experience. Electro Ball! Ooh, absolutely. Uh, user hurls Electric Lob. The faster the user is in the target, the greater the move's power. Uh, we don't really need Quick Attack. Thundershock... Thundershock at least gives us Paralysis. Uh, and it's... Wow, Pikachu's thing is good speed. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Quick Attack. And then Ridley wants to learn Bullet Seed. Okay, unfortunately it is physical, which isn't the best for Hopip. Uh, do more damage than Absorb. Absorb though has its uses. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, the problem with the status moves is just the lack of accuracy. Uh, Stun Spore, I think, would probably be better than Poison Powder, so we'll do that. Just in terms of, like, catching. Excuse me for a second, my cat's making too much noise. Ah, much better. Apologies. Uh, my cat was playing with a piece of plastic! Okay. So now the big question is, how do I safely get down? Um, I'm not sure. And if it puts me into the new area immediately, at least the good thing about being able to see ahead is like the first Pokemon counts only counts once I've actually hit the, the area. Oh, that's just a mash gif. Okay. Um, so if we switch to Corridon and just kind of... There we go. Okay. Uh, didn't actually put us in the new area yet. Uh, it's definitely a trainer. Yeah, part of it is also just making sure that, like, the first Pokemon I see is... Oh, wait, is it across the river? Okay, it's across the river. And I, uh, I can't do anything. Hello, it's a Flabebe! You're new! Also level 10. Okay, uh, the Pokemon are starting to get a little bit higher leveled. And a little Mareep there. That over there. Oh, it's just an Azuril. An Azuril and a Mareep over there. Okay, so yeah, so probably what will lead to being in Area 4 is crossing the river. Okay, so the best way to do that would be to cross that section. Unless I wanted to basically go up and see where th I do kind of want to see what that is because there is something underneath the Azuril. Hey, there's a Pikachu there. There's also this, so just a den? Yeah. I'll pet a little den. Get some LP. Okay, what is what is that? Is that just another den? No. Ooh! What is that? It's a Meowth! Okay, it's a terrestrialized Meowth! Uh, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Unfortunately, not in a brand new area, sadly. So, unfortunately, we gotta face it.
A flying meow. Now catch Wild Terra Pokemon. You can't catch a Pokemon while it's terrestrialized. You need to reduce its HP to break through its transformation first. Okay, well this this might be a little bit tri it knows Aerial Ace. Oh, that's bad. And it's Aerial Ace, so Sand Attack isn't even gonna do anything. Ah, crap. Uh, Leer. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Thankfully, it is a wild Pokemon, so I do have the option of running away. Okay, so we'll have Pikachu out. Uh, we will go ahead and use Double Team. That's fine. That's fine if I... Wait, no. It, you, uh, I keep forgetting. It has Aerial Ace. So Aerial Ace will just bypass that entirely. Oh, Fury Swipes. Okay, good. Static. So that should help out when I get to use Electro Ball. Good, and it's only two times. Okay, then Electro Ball. And that breaks the Terrastalize. Unfortunately, gonna have to faint it. It's not a shiny Pokemon. So we can't exactly uh, use that. Ooh, I got a lot of lead points though. Uh, no, not the boxes. We're not switching out. I just want to bring back Maya. Okay, so we have that, we have this. A Bonsly? That's a Bonsly! Um, I do not have anything really good against a Bonsly, to be honest. Uh, so we'll heal up Maya. There's a wild Pikachu right beside me. And as much as I want to cross the bridge, um... I also just kind of want to see what all is around here. And just encountering a bunch of different Pokemon at least fills up the Pokedex, so that way I have it there. Okay, so that finishes off Bond's line. I mean, it also helps just to fight a bunch of different Pokemon, that way... I can see, like, oh, what will I need for TMs? What exactly is over here? Looks like it's an electric den? Yeah, team... Timo. It's a Timo. Okay. Uh, good to know. School vet. Don't really need. Lots of school vet. Okay, but what's this thing right by the zero? Was that just the terrestrialized Meowth that was here? Mass outbreak of Azuril. Weird, just, they're all in the water, it looks like. I think, no, no, there's some over here. There's a Mareep. Uh, you know? Do the let's go. Easily take him out. Orenberry, Pekka Berry. I see a Gimme Ghoul? Yeah! Hey, there's a Meryl over there! over here. And there's a TM, too. Now, at the very least, like, the fact that this is just a mass outbreak does help with... Okay, pretty feather. TM. Ooh, air cutter. I mean, hey, if I can maybe get a 
shiny to come. There's a Bweasel. Level 7 Bweasel. Uh, Psyduck in the water. Hop it. I mean, usually mass outbreaks generally have a higher chance of spawning shiny Pokemon. Ooh. That is not what I wanted you to do, Maya. Okay, that just seems to be what this is. Um, maybe that indicator is just simply like that's where the mass outbreak is. Uh, which is fine. Like, yes, I could try to go for shiny Pokemon. I'd like to not like grind for shiny Pokemon. At the very least, though, like. Magic up over there. Okay, I think we're probably good. Uh, too many Pokemon here. Let's go ahead. Who's that? Oh, the Shrewdal. Okay, uh, but enough of that. Let's get back to what our original intent was and get over the river. Uh, because I have my doubts that Coridon can actually get past that. I think we do need to just cross a bridge. X speed. And that seems like a pretty good entry point. Uh, but I have my doubts that I'll be able to actually get in. Very. Another pet a little. Yeah. Lost berry. Okay, so let's go ahead, cross over, and hopefully we'll be in this new area. Oh, give me ghoul. Uh, let's see, that's a weasel in the water. Where? Oh, it was on top. Well, I mean, there's a cave over here. Ah! Can't even see the little Azuril. Okay, well, not really all that big a deal. It's an Azuril. He's hop it leveled up. Okay. Looks like a little tiny Marie. Great ball, which is good. Looks like there's a little cave over here. Oh, no, it's not a cave. Just an outcrop. And a TM? I'll take it. What's a TM? Grassy terrain. Okay, not the best move. But hey, that's at least something that's added to the TM shop. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to have to fly back over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to fly back if I want to have another attempt at that. I can at least fly to the Pokemon Center, so that should be a little bit faster. But it looks like jumping down was probably the worst move I could have made. Go figure. Okay. So where I want to go... Okay, so looking at the map. So I need to head, continue this direction, head across here, and then head down the plane. I figured that I could easily get across by heading down further. That was very much not the case. I have to go across this. Okay. Staravia and a rock rock. Huh. I haven't fought a rock rock. 
Oh, that's a mud spray. I thought that for a second that was a lichen rock, and I was thinking, wait, what? I got very scared there for a moment. Okay, no, that's just a mud break. Mud break's fine. And Swablu as well! Oh man, there's a lot of good Pokemon here. Uh, still not a new area though, so I can't catch any of them. And that's a Metatite too! Dang, there's a lot of Pokemon here. And what is that? What is that? Is that a... My eyes were on that Scyther. My eyes were on this Scyther when we crossed into that. Level 22? Oh no. Oh no. I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Um, I am going to prepare. I need to catch it unawares. Oh, and also maybe have Pikachu in front. Yes, okay. It is a normal type. Okay. Double team. Raise our evasiveness. Hopefully it doesn't know Swift. Double hit! Okay, it's paralyzed at least. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Okay. I suppose, like, if I don't catch a Pokemon, then I can just come back and it's just the next Pokemon that I find. Oh, this is bad. Um. Couldn't move because it's paralyzed. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Miss, miss, miss. Yes! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I have no idea what's that flying in the background. Okay, two accuracy lowering. That's good, that's good. Let's use tackle. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Because I can't even attempt to catch it until I can lower its HP. So I'm just gonna have to pray. Oh God, this is, this is not gonna end well. Oh yeah, this is not gonna end well. I'd have to use a revive on Pikachu, but I can't use items in battle. Okay, Leer, good. I mean, Ridley would probably die in one hit anyway. Oh, come on, I need I need Bullet Seed to hit a lot more often than that. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, you know what? Hop it was gonna go down in one hit anyway. Come on, Ridley! 
five hits. I need five hits. Three. It's okay, but that's not good. No! Ah! Damn it. Crap. Well, there goes the Scyther. Man, this is probably the most that I've actually, like, passed out for a lot of Pokemon. Like, I've... I usually don't, like, run out of Pokemon in Pokemon games. Oh, that's just Marie. Okay, well, that sucked. I guess that's what happens when you get to be a... Try to be a little bit greedy. My eyes were immediately drawn to the Terrasilize Scyther, and... That did not end well. <laughs> Still, at least I kind of know roughly where the barrier is, and maybe we can... Oh, wait. Is it still there? I could try again. Yep, and it's actually the only thing here, so we can give it another go. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm going to save. Okay. So we'll do that. Okay, Scyther is still here. Is, is it going to... It's going to rush me! Okay. Take two! We might still be able to catch the Scyther. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Try a... Thundershock. Yeah, it just one-shots Pikachu, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the static didn't even... I think it's static worked once and didn't affect anything else. This is probably the best thing that I could try to do, is static it and then just use sand attack. Oh, I didn't even get sand attack off once. Okay. So just kind of walk away. What is that? That's a new Pokemon. Okay. I saved that way in case I run out of stuff. I could always just reload the save if I just really run low on all my things. I'd like to not save Scum, though, if I could help it. But still, this is like the only chance I realistically have to catch this thing. And it was the first thing that my eye was drawn towards. Okay, now that I know that Double Team isn't going to do anything for us. I need to do is immediately paralyze it. That did not paralyze it at all. Oh, it didn't even get the static off. Crap. If I don't get if I don't get it paralyzed, I can't do this. Oh, crap. Nope. 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 The Scyther is the Pokemon that we're gonna catch. Come hell or high water. Okay. 
The only way that this thing gets away is if it somehow despawns. If the Scyther despawns, then we go after a different Pokemon. It's just a shame, because unlike Knackley, I can't just automatically throw a Pokeball. So what happens when you have a big Pokemon, it's all shiny, it immediately gets your attention. Oh, sure. No, it's not like the berry would have really helped a whole lot anyway. Okay. Thundershock. Darn it! Okay, okay, okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. I just need to paralyze it. Come on, Pikachu! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Double hit is in 100% accurate. Come on, I need the paralysis! Ugh, I can't do this if I can't paralyze it! I'm gonna waste all my revives trying to catch this Scyther. <sighs> you know what? Potion isn't going to help me at all. It one-shots everything. I need this thing to be paralyzed. Otherwise, I am not going to be able to do this. I'm really glad, though, that I can just re-challenge it a lot. This actually makes things very interesting to try to catch Pokemon. Okay. I'm on Pikachu. Yes! Okay, okay, we got the paralysis off. That helps, that helps a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and use Fly. Okay. Didn't do a whole lot, but that's fine. There goes Pikachu. Okay, okay, we can still do this. It is per it is paralyzed. Let's switch on over to Maya. Try to get some sand attacks off. Good, 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 good. Okay, if it's not going to be fully paralyzed, I would rather it just use Leer. We get as many sand attacks as possible. We only get the one. Okay, this is bad, but salvageable. This is still salvageable. I am going to Leers, aren't I? <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, we need a lot of bullet seeds to hit here, Ridley. Okay, uh, not the best. Good, 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 good. Hopefully it doesn't have something like Aerial Ace. So, we can at least keep attempting this. Another three hit. Man, Hobbit just doesn't want to hit more than three. And we lost. Damn it! I'm getting ridiculous. when that's the first Pokemon you see and you make this challenge for that. It's still there. Okay, it's still here. I'm 
I'm gonna give this another go. <sighs> this may be one that I just have to forsake and just go, okay, what is the next Pokemon in the area? Because this may be a bit too much for me to handle. Oh, there's a little Fampy there. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be despawning, which I'm not sure is a good or a bad thing at this point. Okay. Best thing that I really realistically need to do. Uh, I need it to paralyze. I need to hit it with sand attack more than once. Okay, static went off. That's fine. It becomes paralyzed, so that helps. I just need to make sure I... I think I realistically need to hit... Because any attack that it gets, any like attack that deals damage, is going to one-shot me no matter what. I just need a ton of sand attacks to get off, so that way it realistically doesn't have a chance to actually hit me. Ugh. One isn't gonna be enough. One is definitely not gonna be enough. Which means I have to use more revives. Uh, I do not have a lot of these left. All right, we'll give this a, one more go. And if not, then I might just have to say screw it and just go back to the Pokemon Center and then just come back to, is that a Hattery? It is a Hattery. I may just have to go back to the Pokemon Center and just come back to wherever this is. And then just, oh, whatever's the next first Pokemon I see when I get back to the root. I just wish it would just spam Leer. Leer would be the best thing that could happen. Yo, I might get my wish. Come on. Static, okay. Okay, so it's a little bit more weakened. A little bit more weakened. We have a chance. I just have to pray that it either becomes fully paralyzed or it just uses Leer. Right, my Orin berries. I always forget about that. Uh, sand attack. Yeah, this isn't happening. Definitely not happening. Where are the nearby Pokemon, anyway? Oh! No! Oh, I might just... Oh, crap. I might just black out again, anyway. The Scyther went out for blood. Okay. Much as this would have been a great Pokemon, this is definitely not happening. Just run, just run. There we go, that was the button I wanted to hit. Okay, to the Pokemon Center. And then heal. <sighs> Wasted so many items. Yes, I could always reload to save, but you know what? That's part of the run. Okay. 
So at this point... Uh, how, how am I exactly am I going to be doing this to justify for the run? Uh... At this point, I think I'm just... I mean, I have no idea if that Scyther is always going to be there and that's always going to be the first Pokemon. Or, because realistically, I could also say, well, I failed to catch it, so that way I don't... I won't be able to catch anything on that route. Uh, I mean, I could do that rule. Really wasn't expecting something like this, especially with the Terrasalizing actu actively preventing you from even attempting to throw a Pokeball at it. Ah. Uh, I think what we'll do is, like, it will just be uh, the first Pokemon that I see when re-entering it. Although the Scyther is just, it loves to hang out by the entrance. So you know what? We will keep a viewpoint away from that as a technicality. Okay. So for technicality's sake, we will just not look at it. And the first Pokemon that we see kind of hugging the wall is what we're going to get. Not seeing anything. Uh, there's some water here. It's a Psyduck! Okay, I guess Psyduck will be our Pokemon. There's also Dunsparce and a Meryl. Whatever. Psyduck was the Pokemon. We will catch a Psyduck instead. Assuming I can target it. Assuming I can... This Psyduck's level 19. Okay, so let's go ahead. We will use a Thunder Shock. Good. Okay. Disable. That stinks. But whatever, we will be fine. I believe we can probably go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Ah! Almost. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Ah. Uh. Well, at least Maya learned to move. Work up. I'm not sure work up would really be the best move. Uh, raises attack and special attack. Um. As opposed to Leer. Eh, we'll get rid of Leer. Man, that was still... Ah. Okay, and now we have Psyduck added to the team. Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. It is constantly racked by a headache. When the headache turns intense, it begins its mysterious powers. Okay, let's give it a nickname. We've been going on far longer than we really should. Then again, most of that time was spent trying to go after that Scyther. So handy dandy random number generator, go! I believe that name's already been used. Yes, it has. The name's come up many times here. Okay, that one definitely hasn't been used. For a Psyduck, I'm not sure how well this goes, but whatever. Atlas from Bioshock. Well, I guess that's what happens when you just try to keep your head down and try to find a new Pokemon. But at any rate, I'm sure we'll find more revives and berries at some point. These Pokemon are a little bit higher level than where we realistically are comfortable with being. 
So we'll fly over to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna switch out for party three, so th then they are up. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. Ah. <sighs> Man, that was annoying, and we used up a lot of supplies, and we have nothing to show for it. <laughs> but whatever. And what happens when you kind of deal with a run? You kind of make do with what you got. But anyway, next time... We're gonna, just gonna go back en route to head on over to the first gym. Uh, we may go out a little bit past the gym, so that way we can get a party member for Team 3. Uh, but, at the very least, we will continue onward towards the first gym and hopefully get done, you know, with the first gym and then go from there. Until next time, everyone. Take care.